Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a pre-release version of the Remix Ultra tablet, which is an Android tablet that uh, has some tweaks and an operating system called Remix OS. Uh, I was sent this by the uh, developers of the, the hardware, and I wanted to do a uh, sort of first look. Here. So this is the, uh, the packaging. Nice little box says Remix. Open it up. And the first thing we see is for the revolutionaries that will shape tomorrow. And the tablet itself. Let's pull that right out there. So it's an 11.6 inch tablet, has a red back, camera, camera, and uh, what's that, the volume buttons over here, speakers, looks like a charging port, more speakers, micro USB, and a headset jack. Come back to that in a moment. We've got a keyboard here, which also acts as a cover. Underneath is, not really sure what this is, there we go, some documentation, remix, manual, and over here we've got an adapter, so this is a micro USB to full size USB adapter. cable, which is sort of set in there funny. So we've got a US power adapter here, and uh, that sort of funny looking, what looks like it's probably a magnetic adapter. So this is a, a project that started by a couple of former Google engineers based in China, and they want to bring it to the United States. They showed it off initially at the Consumer Electronics Show, and then launched a Kickstarter campaign to, uh, to try to sort of encourage people to test it out and help them develop the English language version of the software. There's a kickstand on the back here. It's a multi-angle kickstand. So we can prop it up at two different angles. And then it's designed to fit into that magnetic dock. So we can use this as a cover. We can prop it up and use it like a laptop, and it's got a sort of very Microsoft Surface kind of uh, kind of feel. Uh, in terms of the charging adapter, yep, that's magnetic, so that sort of stays in there. So it's got nice, nice build quality. The keyboard is kind of, uh, it's not, well, it's pretty thin. It's thinner than your typical laptop keyboard. Um, the touch area here feels like it's sort of built right into the palm rest. The keyboard area itself is recessed a little bit. Um, I don't know if this has a charge, but let's see what happens if we press the power button here on top. Try to turn it on. There we go. So it runs Google Android 4.4 at launch. Uh, the goal is eventually to have it running Android 5.0, but it's a version of Android called Remix OS, which has been designed to work a little bit more like Windows. And what that means is there's going to be a taskbar at the bottom and support for running applications in uh, resizable windowed mode. Now this is a first boot, so I might have to uh, set up the tablet before I can really do very much with it. But we can see that we've got English, searching for Wi-Fi. Looks like we've got dual band Wi-Fi support. over here. And looks like I'm agreeing to participate in their customer experience program. All right, so as you can see here, we've got this sort of taskbar at the bottom, some information about memory here, applications, are on the top, sort of like a Windows desktop, but uh, crossed with more of a Android sort of environment. We've got a web browser. Now 
in terms of hardware, what we're looking at is a uh, NVIDIA Tegra K1 processor with, um, I believe, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage. An 11.6 inch full HD display. And we've got pinch to zoom. It's not the fastest scrolling I've ever seen here. Looks like we've got a custom web browser here. and some custom applications here so we can see which apps are using the most power. There's a calendar application. It's pretty nice. Calculator. So again, we can see that that's running in a windowed mode here. Apparently that's what it looks like when you pull down the notifications. File manager. Gallery. And access to the Google Play Store. Now I haven't added my account there yet, so I can't install anything, but it does have support. Uh, so again, you can see we can use the touchpad and uh, uh, should be able to plug in peripherals using this USB adapter as well. We can see folders, documents, cloud storage, there's support for Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, OneDrive, or other FTP or web dev. And uh, yeah, so that's nice. Now I believe there's a way to resize Windows. Let's see if this tells me anything about how to do that. It's interesting, I do actually feel so much like I'm using a Windows tablet that I kind of want to swipe from the side here. Or pull down from the top to close applications, which doesn't work here. So it's, uh, it's got a Windows-like feel to it, but it's certainly not a Windows-based system. So we've got an application search button, which is nice, and a built-in user feedback tool. So that's a quick first look. I'll have more details once I've had more time to play with it, but this is basically, you know, straight out of the box impressions. It's uh, a nice looking tablet. Uh, again, the web browser feels like it could be a little bit faster. The K1 is not the NVIDIA's newest processor, but I like the build quality. I like the design. And, uh, you know, if you were one of the first um, 200 people to, to back the project on Kickstarter, you might have been able to get one for $39. It's an excellent tablet for $39, I can already say that. Whether it's worth the $399 asking price is sort of going to depend on um, how it handles other applications, third-party applications, and whether you think that this sort of custom user interface is something that's worthwhile or not. Um, we've got support here, it looks like, for uh, vibration controls, auto brightness, screenshots, and other settings and a very Windows-like um, user interface here. Uh, it looks a lot like Windows 8.1, but it is Google Android, and apparently the screen brightness is so high there <laughs> that it's making, uh, making it difficult to see everything else. So, this is Brad Linder, first look at the Remix tablet. We'll have more details coming up soon at lilliputing.com.